we see the evidence quite clear. It's because on the face of it, you don't really think that he did what you asked him to do. On the face of it, the minister deepened the suspicions that we all have. What the minister did today basically confirmed that something extremely untoward happened with the COVID money. And on the floor of the house, I proved, based on the minister's own documents to this house, that he failed to account for 10 billion Ghana cities of the money that came to him. That is the magnitude of deception and the magnitude of the burden that he was running away from. Despite what um, the Deputy Minister of Finance had, who is a member of parliament to Abdul Sassar, had explained, you still think this is a very legitimate How problem. can you explain away documents produced by the minister himself, which are public records in the house? And parliament is a house of records. I get you. So you don't amend the records of parliament with another deception. 